Hello everyone. Welcome back. Today in this video we will see how to check the locators directly in the browser. See you, you might be writing the locators in the notepad and or might, might be directly in the code and then you run the test case and then you get to know whether locators are passed or not. This is very time consuming and it really takes lots of effort and patience. See in real time you might be having uh, thousands of test cases and each and every test case must be using 10, 20, 30 locators. And for each and every step if you run the test case and then check whether locators are correct or not then it, 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 it will really kill your time. So in, in some pages you might uh, uh, need to do some prerequisites that will be very very difficult because you might be running some one hour two hour prerequisite just to reach one page and then uh, if locator failed then really it will be very frustrating so instead of that to avoid all these uh, things uh, what i do i directly write uh, in the browser itself and check it there because then i can save lots of time and effort so i will show you how to do that so suppose you are using chrome browser you go to chrome browser this just assume that this is the page you are going to automate so either uh, whatever uh, element you want to inspect locate you can go there and uh, do the right click otherwise anywhere on the page you just right click and click on inspect so it will open the developer tool of chrome you need not to install any plugin like chrome path or anything nothing you have to do it's just an inbuilt feature of browser you need not to do anything no external pl plugin you need to download it's and it's very simple also it's the most simple uh, locator one i have seen otherwise if you do the crow path and all you have to go and then select the crow path and all that is little difficult why to get into unnecessary which you have already see in most of the organization they might not allow you directly to download and all and then in in that case you have to raise, raise the ticket and all and then 90 percent have to download and unnecessary it is just time waste so you have all the features in this you need not to go for guru path or whatever are available in the market so i will show you it's very easy you just uh, did right click anywhere on the page and click on inspect element now what you have to do you have to click here down somewhere and control f that's it you have to click somewhere in the developer tool and then press control plus f key that's it nothing else and the moment you enter i will show you again see i close the developer tool now right click and inspect and now if you see you must be thinking where will you write and where will you search this you can see but here no that will not work so what you have to do somewhere here anywhere you just press press the cursor somewhere here just take your cursor somewhere in the developer tool and then just press control f control f see control plus f key you have to press together so if you would have noticed this was not before the moment you click on control f this text box has appeared so here see it is showing find by string selector or export whatever you are to find you can directly write it here and check it so now start inspecting the element see so to start inspecting the element you have to click on this icon and now mouse over on any element which you want to inspect so suppose i want email so i have done this email thing correct so here if you see so many properties are there whatever you feel you can take it if id is there so i prefer to take id it's more stable so i am taking id see always try to copy paste the thing from here because it might be case sensitive it is case sensitive so suppose you you have read email and you just try to write email here it might give you issues so uh, better not uh, get into any unnecessary 
errors which you can avoid easily so always copy paste like i did now i will take x path of this so this input tag is this is the tag input is a tag so i will start writing x path see the moment i start writing see these things will change you can notice i gave two forward slash and tag is as input the moment i typed input you can see it is showing one out of six because this is only it is assuming is a x path i have given so it is showing in this page total six uh, presents are there of this element of it this input right so and it will show you also see see it is showing this is third uh, element out of six element this that one was the third element and now this one this input is the fourth element and now the next one you might not be able to see it it, it must be here somewhere press input button it will show you you have to press somewhere to get the control here see here it is showing one two three four some uh, elements might be invisible because suppose if you try to c for one none of the elements it's highlighting so it means it's kind of invisible so invisible element also if it is present and if you try to take it it might not work so always take unique element so anyways i was i, I was just showing you how to check whether the uh, locator is unique or not so here if i give only input it is showing three out of six I, i'm just for showing purpose i'm showing here you can make it all now let me give this uh, X part for this email one. So I will take a ID and I had already copy pasted that one. So I will copy the same thing. See here you can see clearly it is showing one out of one. And suppose if something which has two appearance, it will show one out of two. So you will get to know that it is not unique and you have to take some other attribute and this this uh, this will um, fail so you can take a call and uh, change it accordingly that was i showed you for xpath now i will show you for css selector css selector also we can take in this tag was input so input hash and id name was email right anyways i had copy pasted so again it is showing one out of one this is very very important and plays a very crucial role when see here things are pretty clear pretty easy you have directly id uh, unique id name and all so you can directly take it not an issue but in case when you don't have any clear x path and you uh, locate the element with the help of parent object or child object and all then without this it will be really really difficult for you to take the locator so like this uh, if you check locator always on the browser it will really uh, help you in saving your time and saving your effort that's all guys thank you for watching my video we hope you have liked this video thank you very much